to shut her up and shoot. Uh, today I'm just here around in a local park and uh, it's autumn so I thought maybe I'll um, look around maybe I'll see some uh, uh, mushrooms or some, some cool colors in the leaves and I want to do some macro shots. The other day I went out and uh, got two uh, pretty neat shots one of a, a slug on a, a tree stump and um, one of some tree bark and and, and a cool leaf. So I kind of want to go back again and uh, kind of make a video and show you how I do this. I have a pretty easy setup. Just brought my camera with a 15 millimeter 1.8 and uh, on a little uh, gorilla pod. And um, I'm just going to show you how I uh, just use this simple tool. It's really easy to bring around and uh, make some awesome shots. All right, let's go. Okay, so I've been uh, walking around for like 10 minutes and I uh, found my first spot. Um, found this uh, log here with some tiny little mushrooms on there. And um, yeah, so what I'm looking for is something that is um, kind of contrasting the environment. And this time it's this tiny little mushroom on top of a log. And I'm shooting kind of on an angle. Um, so we get lots of bulk in the background. I'm doing a trick just with a um, little leaves in front of the lens to uh, create some more color bokeh uh, in the foreground and uh, I think it's a pretty cool effect. Okay, so I'm set up here uh, with my camera. And you can see the composition there and this is the log and you can see here is that little mushroom and you see these little bumps. I guess there's some kind of mushroom or fungus or uh, in the picture as well and then I'm just using a leaf in front of the lens to create some extra bokeh okay, for this uh, next shot I'm here at a um, little creek and um, got my camera set up in the water a little bit freaked out about that but uh, I got a um, I'm working with a little bit of a longer shutter speed to um, uh, see the movement in the water and I'm focusing in on a leaf on a rock and having the water flow around it and I'm uh, playing with my phone and uh, a flashlight to see to create a little bit of a lens flare I'm not sure if that's gonna work out and do uh, a few with and a few without um, I'm working with a um, a smaller uh, aperture I think I'm around f16 and um, so I'm not able to uh, blow out the background as much as I want to um, but still you, you get a little bit of um, uh, okay whatever you want to call it in the background so here you can see in my camera setup it is standing in the water it's pretty sturdy um, I don't think something's gonna happen and uh, that's where the leaf is and uh, I'm just trying to kind of shine the light in here and see if there's any lens flare picked up and to get some more interest in that shot another thing I wanted to show you is more of a, a composition so I'm uh, using the third lines to um, focus on that leaf and there's a little bit of a ridge here which comes from the corner to the leaf that creates a bit of a leading line that creates some more interest to the photo it kind of directs your eye to the leaf and it's not right smack in the middle um, it just creates a more interesting uh, more interesting photo okay uh, we are back uh, I'm back um, and I process the images and we'll take a look and see um, how they turned out uh, see if those little techniques work with putting a leaf in front of the lens, uh, getting some flare, getting some more cool bokeh, and uh, yeah, let, uh, let's jump right in. Um, okay, let's see here. First off, this is a um, a picture I shot a few days ago, uh, but it was using the exact same setup, just so just same camera, same lens, and uh, using that um, Gorilla Pod using it right now and um, the day was a little bit different it was overcast it actually started a little bit to rain um, so the settings were a little bit different 
um, but both in these images as well. The first two are from uh, a few days ago. And um, this image here of the, of the slug um, was shot with a higher ISO, so um, I was able to um, handheld it um, and not get a blurry image because uh, it's better to be sharp than blurry and have a little bit of a, um, a noise in the, in the image. So uh, I kind of like it here as well. I used um, a leaf. I actually placed it on top of a piece of uh, wood there and uh, I thought it was cool if I give some more some extra color in the, in the picture and um, really yeah, focus on, on uh, uh, the slug right here and uh, yeah I thought this was a, a pretty cool image let's go to the next one okay this is the one with the leaf on the bark so I really like this um, this tree here this tree bark it has all these uh, horizontal slots in there and um, I found a nice colorful leaf um, it has the yellows in there greens and some red coming through and I thought it was a great contrast uh, on top of that uh, tree bark and then again I used a, a leaf uh, held it in front of the lens just hold it right right on the corner and um, that's why I have, we have this uh, green haze uh, coming from the, the left top corner and uh, kind of like it because because back there I think there were some brown leaves and uh, there's not much interest in that I think it added to um, uh, to this image let me know if you you like this uh, kind of technique if you like or maybe you think it's cheesy um, yeah let me know in the comments and then uh, let's see the pictures i took today so this was the first one i have two variations i'm not sure yet which one i like better um but here you see that tiny little uh mushroom popping out of this um tree trunk um, was just a piece of wood laying on, uh, on the forest floor and um, so on the top right corner I held the leaf in front of the lens getting that nice yellow orangey um, uh, light in and then um, it kind of goes from this this top right corner down to the left corner it goes from from the orange down to like a dark bluish greenish color and uh, you got a few of these. I guess these are there are some mushrooms as well. And um, you got these in the left corner. So and uh, what I um, showed you before, I'm using the rule of thirds. So if you see the invisible lines here, we divide, divide the, the frame into uh, three. Then you got this uh, mushroom right in the on, on the intersection of these two lines here. And then also here we have some interest as well as you see um when you shoot at 1.8 an aperture 1.8 the depth of field is quite shallow it just is big enough for this tiny little um, mushroom so might be half an inch of sharpness maybe not even and uh, so it's, it's tricky to uh to really get um uh, the focus uh, right on um, i use live view i can zoom in and really I manually adjust the focus and tack on. I had a few shots that weren't exactly tack sharp, so uh, this is one of the best one. And then I have the next one. Let's see here, it's, um, I used the leaf on the other side. So I have uh, the, the yellow leaf here in the corner, of some interest, and then, uh, yeah, same, same composition. I'm not sure I think I like the first one better kind of like how it gets dark in here like you go down a, a deep hole or something um, I think it's pretty cool and I love love the bokeh in the background I love it to blur it out and just a, a pretty interesting image actually maybe this this line where you see um, uh, where the focus is on it's Maybe some sort of a leading line goes from one corner to the other. I think uh, that's pretty pretty cool as well. And uh, okay, this one you saw. Next one, this is um, at the water. So I have three shots here. Uh, this first one this is uh, just regular shot uh, without any leaves, anything, nothing, uh, just a plain plain edit. Uh, you see that 
you see the, the water uh, blurred out because I used a little bit of a longer uh, exposure probably like half a second uh, not too long but enough to to make some uh, to get some movement in the water and um, yeah it turned, turned out pretty good uh, then the next one this is where I used my phone used the flashlight to uh, shine into the lens and what we got here is this kind of blue haze in the bottom I think it's cool um, if I compare it to the other one um, maybe a little bit more interest and if you see here um, there's a really bright highlight in the other image that is a little bit con distracting and we don't have that in this image uh, but yeah, again, I kind of like uh, how we get this movement in the water and then the, the leaf right in the front. And again, it's not right in the middle of the image. It's on uh, one of the third lines. Uh, so you get, yeah, just a, a more, a better composition. And what I showed uh, earlier as well, you have here kind of a line of that goes towards uh, the leaf. So you kind of point your eyes towards... Uh, towards the subject and then this one I shot because these images I shot probably at about f16 um, just because because it's it was the middle of the day and you need um, a really small aperture to um, uh, to slow down the shutter speed and what I did here is put the aperture on f2.8 and um, you see the background is blown out, but I pretty much froze the water. You see a little bit of movement, um, tiny little bit. I'm not sure exactly what the um, uh, shutter speed was, but it was uh, yeah, quite fast, not enough to really um, blur the water. But the background is, is, is nice and, and blurry, nice bokeh. Um, if you have more expensive lens, these uh, little halos here on the side um, would be more round it's just um, this is a quite an expensive lens it's it's cool because it has an uh, aperture f 1.8 but you have to make some some compromises and uh, they use a, a few less aperture blades so the um, maybe halos whatever bokeh thing thingies you want to call them they're not as round when you don't stop it on all the way to 1.8 this is at 2.8 so uh, you don't get really round uh, round bokeh thingies so um, I'm not sure what I like I, I like the moving water in uh, in this image but then uh, blowing out the background it I think it really transforms the image it's it was exactly the same um, composition I didn't move the tripod didn't move the camera at all this change the aperture and shutter speed and uh, it quite transforms the image I, uh, it's uh, quite surprising to, to see and uh, I'm not out which which one I like I am I'm maybe leaning more towards uh, the one with the low large aperture this this, this image here and uh, lastly I wasn't able to uh, video any of this uh, film this um, but I found a cool mushroom in the end um, you know it was quite hard to get and uh, so I didn't really have a time to uh, videotape this but uh, a cool image as well um, I like there were some some leaves and stuff in the foreground which gives a kind of an extra blur in there and um, yeah just just nice texture here on the uh, on a mushroom too bad that some kind of animal probably ate a piece of the mushroom right here wish this was all all nice and, and, and orange uh, but but again yeah I like this image I shot this again at 1.8 could have maybe gone a little higher to get more of this mushroom in focus um, you can also try to stack uh, different uh, focuses so you get the whole mushroom in, in focus I just don't know how to do it and it's too much work and then and, and still I really like you got a nice uh, plane of focus here you have, you have these I don't know what you call them, maybe white warts on <laughs> on this mushroom but I, I like it it's uh this is nice in focus and then just blow out the background 
had some interesting things in the front. And uh, yeah, that's my last image. So um, that was this for today. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. Do you, do you like um, using kind of leaves and light and etc. to uh, change the fore and background uh, bokeh? Yeah, so let me know what you think. Have you done it yourself? Uh, tell me if it's cheesy or, or whatever. And uh, thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.